Hey, how's it going, YouTube fam? This is ET down in Fukuoka. Doing a little update. Uh, this is related to working and living in Japan. Today, we're going to talk about shoes. <laughs> so, I went shopping today to pick up some new shoes. And I picked up these. These are my new uh, work shoes. So, previously, I've been wearing uh, Crocs. And uh, not even real Crocs, fake Crocs. Cost about. 400 yen for uh, a pair of fake Crocs at the local uh, NAFCO, which is kind of a uh, hardware type store. So today I picked these up for about 5,500 yen at a, at a kind of a big discount shoe store. And the reason I got these is, is uh, they kind of look like, you know, they're black like dress shoes. So they, they kind of, you know, kind of get away with them. Well, I mean, other teachers wear running shoes and sports shoes and everything, but I kind of think wearing some bright colored shoes with some, you know, some khakis or some blue, blue uh, docker style pants or black dock sometimes looks looks cheesy. So I figured uh, I get something that can kind of pull off as close as possible to dress shoes, but not actually being dress shoes. And most important is the sole is uh, really thick and, and comfortable. So. Uh, if you don't know, the Japanese schools are, are concrete, usually concrete buildings with concrete floors. They're, they're often old. And uh, when you stand on your feet, like recently I've had a Monday, I had six lessons, four before lunch, two after. No, you know, t little 10 minute break in between with not much time to sit down. And your feet really get uncomfortable. So I figured I'd get something really comfortable. And I actually might even get an extra padded for insert in here. But uh, yeah, I got these for 5,500. So uh, this this is kind of my new recommendation. Instead, I said wear Crocs, but maybe summertime wear Crocs, or uh, or alternate or whatever. But uh, or if you're not overweight like me, <laughs> you know maybe you don't have that much problem. But I think standing on, on concrete floors all day is definitely not good for your knees and your ankles and all that stuff. So so I, I'm I'm gonna give these a go and see what they're all about. So, well, five thousand five hundred, and then I got a pair of um, Mizuno's. For uh for the for the gym, I don't know if you know, but in in Japan, well you should know. In Japan, everywhere you got to take your shoes off. But in the sports clubs in Japan, you have to have shoes that are specifically for the the gym only. So they don't want you using them anywhere else. So uh, and of course a towel. You got to bring a towel as well. So you got I got these for like uh, how much were these? Three thousand. 990 yen, so about 4,000 yen. And you know, running style shoes. I picked the Mizunos because they're at this one store today, they're having a, a sale on it, and it pretty much <laughs> seemed like all the shoes are made in the same place, anyways, in China, so <laughs> don't really matter. And Mizuno's a pretty popular brand in Japan. So got these for the 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 public sports public sports club or public health health center place, which is about 230 or 260 yen. A day. So, talking about shoes in Japan, my new recommendation for teachers is to get something really comfortable, because uh, ALTs you definitely aren't sitting; you're standing all day. So you might want to get something that's good for your keep those dogs comfortable, your your feet comfortable. And if you go join a gym, you're gonna have to have a pair of shoes that uh you don't use anywhere else, or at least you don't tell anybody to use them anywhere else. You know, you can always uh clean them up a little and make them look new when you when you. If you don't go every day, but I figured I might as well put them in a separate bag and have a gym bag with these shoes. So, yep, that's it for today. Peace. Talk to you later. Bye bye.